go to the materials panel right here under um, specular make sure that intensity is down some and you can see here in the preview it goes down and also here I don't want it to be that bright there you go that's good enough okay uh, let's hit zero to go into camera view and if I zoom in let me go ahead and make this a little bit smaller in fact let me go ahead and just collapse this window together boom there you go all right so for the most part that looks good if I go ahead and making sure that my mesh is selected I'll go ahead and hit R to rotate Z to be uh, constrained on the Z axis and um, you know for the most part it looks good I mean it looks okay but as you start turning it like that from my front front view it looks okay it looks 3d almost not really you could still t you can still tell it's plain and if you turn it sideways you could definitely tell it's plain it's not really it doesn't give the illusion of 3d anymore and I'm gonna show you guys how to fake that okay and it's very easy you can actually use Photoshop or any other software that you can find I wasn't able to do it in Photoshop but I'll show you guys a way that I discovered discover how to do it in Photoshop but the best way to do it is I downloaded this program called uh, Shader Map Pro just go to Google and type in Shader Map Pro download it it's I think it's free I didn't I didn't pay anything um, and uh, I didn't say nothing about a trial a trial so I don't think it's trial so you know, just go ahead and download it and I'll show you what it does you hit load diffuse and you go to the desktop where the image is that's the image let's see yeah that's the image just open it and what it starts doing is it automatically starts giving you a, a normal map a normal map an ambient occlusion map a specular map and um, if you don't know what those are just don't worry about any of them except this one the normal map that's the one we're actually gonna look for okay and it should give us a preview here what that's gonna look like so there goes the preview let me go ahead and put it in a cube let me bring this up and what this does as you can see it's it's still a too deep model but now it brings out those highlights it, it really does look like that wood is you know wood that it's not flat that is there okay and we were able to fake that let me close this window because of this image right here this is the image that you want now if you were to put a specular this one right here it would actually work as well but and that's pretty much if you don't if you're not able to download this program uh, which I think it'd be easier to download this program to download Photoshop if you don't have it. But if you do have Photoshop, just um, make the just desaturate the image, and then uh, bring up the levels, and um, bring up the saturation. Wait, um, the contrast, and to make it brighter, just kind of make it look like this, and then you do what I'm about to show you. But I'm not gonna use this one. I'm gonna use the normal map, which is, in my opinion, better. So I just hit generate, it loads, and it's going to load it to the default place where the original image is. This is the original image, and it is, it is on the desktop, so. Okay, so what you want to do here is go to the little checkerboard, go the way up, leave that texture there, click on a new texture, hit new. The type is going to be image or movie. The coordinates are going to be UV coordinates. I'm going to open the image, which is on the desktop, which is this one. Open it. And it's going to look weird right now because we have to go down, still under the, here, still under the texture on this little checkerboard box. We have to go all the way down. Right here, where's this color? Uncheck that and the geometry you want it to be under this is all under influence the geometry normal has to be clicked click it 
now you go to the image sampling make sure normal map is selected and then make sure that tangent is selected hmm, I guess camera works too or world but just make sure tangent works uh, it's selected and as you can see you already can start seeing that popping up it no longer looks like let me go ahead and hit that grid I hit and let's see x-ray there's a way to hide the grid though I think I think it's right here hmm um excuse me there I forgot where to hide the grid but that's not important right now I just went ahead and make my my mesh um, x-ray that way anything that's in front of it will be behind it or it would seem like it's behind it so that nothing is distracting us so look at how much better it looks now it adds that extra definition that extra depth it fakes out very nicely that there is actually wood and it is actually three-dimensional if I go ahead and you uh, know pan these around I mean it's still from 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 the very side like that you could still tell that you know nothing's there but can you imagine all that trouble uh, you had to save yourself of having to model this you can actually just go ahead and grab a a texture like I just show you how to do um, apply it to UV coordinates make sure that on the diffuse the color is not selected because then it gives you that gives you the color of the of the um, of the map and just make sure geometry is selected here otherwise it won't work and make sure that on the top under normal normal is selected otherwise it won't work either and yeah look look at the difference between this one with the bump map and without the bump map which one do you prefer on a video game I think I like this one better I don't know about you but I do yeah so that's my tutorial hope you liked it and enjoyed it and learned something from it and uh, see you next time guys have fun with this one